Welcome back, Wolfpack, to the channel. Welcome back to another mod showcase. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at JK's River Fall Cottage. Now, if you don't know who JK is, or if you've just been living under a rock for the past, I don't know, say several years, um, JK is the person behind the uh, JK is all in one darkened, which I'm sure people are familiar with that mod and um, the various interior mods, at least on special edition. So Riverfall Cottage is let me actually show you where it is on the map. So Riverfall Cottage is right here. Riverwood is right here and then White Run is just over yonder. So yeah. So Riverwall Cottage is about cost will cost you about 15,000 gold in order to get the key to the home. And once you have the 15,000 gold and then you will be able to live here. So yeah, immediately you are greeted by this lovely bridge lovely bridge and everything so in typical fin rear fashion let us go through this home so to your right we have a love um uh what i would assume to be a stable And then you have your fishing uh, area here. With some fishing rods, places to uh, hang your fish. And then you have a fish hatchery, which contains Cyrodelic Spittletail. Uh, a very, uh, I, don't, I don't know if that's a rarity or a common thing. I think it's a common thing. No, pond fishes are common. Never mind. And then if you wanted to hang out over here, you can. Now there are three ways or three doors to enter or three ways to enter the home. You can enter it from down here or you can enter it from one of the two doors up here, uh, uh, up, up there, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, so you have a couple of buckets with some flowers. Um, I think this is just, uh, these are just hanging or just static. Um, you have hanging moss, which you have some wood piles and then wood chopping blocks. And the one thing that I've noticed uh, early on is that, um, especially with the wood piles, is that um, is that it's I think it's all static storage. So yeah, it's all static storage. Um. And then over here, you have a little place to drink your mead while actually going out and looking at the beautiful scenery. You have an outhouse to take a dump. You have your chicken area, chicken coop. And then you have your crafting area. So you have tanning rack. You have a place to put all your leathers and pelts you have your workbench grindstone you have a smelter which honestly this is the most unique smelter that i've ever seen i've never seen a smelter like this before you have your uh place to store your ingots and then you have your um anvil better very cool And this is another um this is one way another way to get in i don't know why um, what is changing the wood but i don't know maybe that's part of the mod i don't know yeah like I, as you can see it's like it's wood and then there's this like brown texture stuff and everything oh um then you have fertile soil did I miss fertile soil? Oh yeah, so the fertile soil right here and then over here. So yeah, so there's fertile soil. Almost forgot about the fertile soil. And then you have a little bit of a 
room place. Like, so ingredients and stuff like that. So you have glowing mushrooms, mushrooms. Very cool. And then up here, I would assume is your alchemy and enchanting area. More buckets. With lavender, thistle. So yeah, this is this is where you would recreate your potions and ingredients and just enchant all your items. Apparently I don't have anything for me to actually craft or disenchant or enchant. Well, I have something to enchant, but... Let's actually go in here. This is the other door, the third door. So the cool thing about JK's Riverfall Cottage is that the door is automatically locked, so I would say bring the key so you're not locked out of your home. So, that's what I would say. Yeah, I don't know what the texture is. Um, so you have your weapon racks, mannequins, more weapon racks, more mannequins, and you have more mannequins, and then you have your place to store all your armor and weapons. Um, you have table for six, so a chair for you, your wife, and then your four kids or followers. You have display cases. You have ooh, um, cupboards and display cases, more display cases. Then you have what I would assume is either a follower bed or a kid's bed. I'm assuming this is either a follower, uh, this is a follower's bed because it doesn't have a lot of, a lot of stuff. A kitchen area. Very cool. We'll go downstairs in a moment, but let's go upstairs first. Then, okay, so I'm assuming this is a follower's bed because it's a lot bigger. And this is the kid's bedroom. So the cool thing about it, I'm not going to do anything about uh, I'll do anything, but um, you could actually train, uh, train your two handed and one handed if you and uh, ma uh, uh, magica uh, or destruction if you wanted to. Which is awesome. I like the little mammoth and giant. It's pretty cool. Saber cat and the dog, and then you have an imperial. Um, I'm assuming this is all of the um, various different loading screen things that that uh, that you can find or, or that um, up here. If if you're just using vanilla loading screens, very cool. And in here is a um, a little spa area. And then here is your master bedroom. And then you have like a little wash face, some clothing, storage, more display cases, weapon racks, and or weapon weapon plaques. Now, I don't know why you would want to jump down, because you'll probably die. <laughs> um, hey, but hey, you do you. If you're here, if you want to just yeet for science, then, you know, you do you. Uh, pretty cool. I like how um, JK, the, J, the, the thing is, is JK's JK attention to detail. Um, oh, and this is... Um, 
I want to say this map, where my cursor is, is um, where uh, I'm assuming that's Solstheim, I think. Um, yeah, that's Solstheim, that's Skyrim. I think that's Skyrim with the dots being all the holds and various different towns and stuff. And then this, same thing, which all of them are kind of like or the different markers that you could have, um, or at least the major ones. Very cool. Oh, and uh, then uh, the keys, you could store your keys here. Like I said, make sure you, um, and this just goes out to the balcony. There's really not much, you know, out there, but uh, it's just another view to have in uh, Skyrim or for this home. And then you have a little fire pit area. No, uh, this is this leads out to the bottom portion of um, uh, Riverfall Cottage. And then you have more wood pile, scavenge wood pile, so you could scavenge wood pile if you want, or you could search the wood pile. And then there is. Again, static storage. And you have sweet treats. And then you have, um, I'm assuming, it's not an interactable. Then you have meads and wine. Um, dry elves here. What? And then you have um, cheese and bread, um, vegetables, fish and crab, storage. It's very cool. You have a cooking spit. Some people say cooking spit. I say cooking pot, but it is what it is. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. And if you did, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Um, I'm also... Um, catching up on um, on my uh, playthrough that I was doing. Um, like I said, if you watched my previous videos, I said I wasn't going to do the Civil War, um, so I will probably have to do the um, uh, the season nine ending quest off camera. I mean, we've all seen it a thousand times, so I don't think it really matters. But um, once I do that, then I'll start the Dawn Guard and everything um, and just leave off, like pick up where I left off in it, essentially. So, um, but yeah, so um, I think that's it. Um, like I said, guys, if you did enjoy this episode, leave a like. It really does help the video out. Um, I'm trying to get partner. Um, I'm almost at 500 subscribers, and then I could actually apply for partner. Um, I know it's kind of like, oh, well, you're pushing for partner. It's like, yeah, whatever, like, you know. Um, but it's just a small little, small little goal and everything like that. But, um, but yeah, um, but yeah. So, uh, anyways, um, and look, I'm not just saying that just so you can just so to just you you're not obligated to subscribe to my channel. Um, it's just something I say at the end of every video. Like, I, I don't, like, you know, we expect everybody to subscribe to my channel just because I say it. So, um, but if you do like my content and you do um, want to subscribe, I I am ever so grateful for that. Um, it just lets me know that you... It just lets me know that you enjoy this content and it lets me it, it actually motivates me to keep going, essentially, um, all the comments, all the likes, everything. So um, every single thing that you guys do or say or whatever really keeps me going, like all the nice comments that I've been getting in the past, you know, on on every all, all my videos, not just like the current ones, but the old ones as well. Um, it really does keep me going. It really does, you know, um, keep me motivated to do more content for you guys. So, yeah, um, that's just a little a little thing for me. Um, but yeah, anyways, I will get you all in the next one. And as always, have a fantastic day. Goodbye.